which will be due in a half in May. Mom is hot. Hot, hot. Chelsea was dog sitting a friend's pit bull who was friendly until he met Mackenzie. When he smelt her, I, it, that's when you just kind of saw it flip. The dog attacked the little girl, so Chelsea was forced to fight. Uh, joining me right now, Nick Rakovic uh, from KTRH. Uh, it's amazing to me that this child minding her own business in her home, sitting there with mommy, and the dog, a family pet, comes in, attacks the child. Mommy has to fight the beast off, Nick. Fight off, even biting the beast ear off. What happened? Well, as you mentioned, Nancy, Chelsea and her two-year-old daughter, Mackenzie, in the bathroom just minding their own business. As you said, the dog comes in, starts to smell the girl, uh, possibly smelling their dog scent is what the mom says, just flipped out, grabbed the girl by the back of her head, pulling her hair with his teeth. Uh, this heroic mom, as you mentioned, shoves her fist into the dog's mouth and bit its ear off, all while managing to call 911 for help. You know, it's an incredible story. Michael Christian, um, what, what I don't understand, the dog, how did the dog get in the house? Did it belong to mommy's boyfriend? Is that what happened? That's right, Nancy. She was babysitting or pet sitting for this dog that everybody described as normally very friendly. All of a sudden, as the mother says, this dog flipped and attacked a wow. two-year-old girl. Uh, out to the lines, Kelly, Kentucky. Hi, Kelly. What's your question? Hey, Nancy. Um, I just want to tell you that I know, I know several people with pit bulls. Um, I have a friend a couple of streets over from me that has a mini pit. Uh, what I mean by mini pit is it's a pit bull that is uh, bred with uh, a, a dog that's smaller than itself. Um, uh, when I go to her house, she greets me with a toy. Um, she is absolutely the most lovable dog that I've, I have ever met. But when it comes to the other dogs in the house, she has put the other dogs in the house in the animal hospital before uh, being very aggressive and going after them. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Okay. Um, so, Kelly, what is your question? Well, uh, well, I really don't have a question. I just wanted to, you know, I just wanted to let you know that, that um, you know, I know a lot of people with pit bulls, and they are very unpredictable. Um, I know Extremely who, unpredictable. And you're right. A mini penny. Uh, mini uh, pincher or the smaller variations of these dogs, very, very different. Grace Stafford, Director of Conservation Wildlife World Zoo, author of Animal Trainer. Great, thanks for being with us. Dr. Stafford, I don't understand it. I mean, as you just heard the caller, her neighbor has put, put the dogs when they became aggressive in the animal hospital. So why, why are, are dog owners just blind? To their dogs aggressive behavior and just so you know gray we spoke to the mom of this little girl and she has actually gotten hate mail and death threats because she spoke out against the dog this is her child gray and she spoke yeah, out well, against the dog now absurd. she's getting hate mail that's absurd nancy i mean this woman did what she had to do to protect herself and her child not unlike what you would do with your two children and uh, i think what's missing here is we simply are not preparing our dogs for new situations. And I know that even though the dog was just visiting, it may have been a completely new situation for it. If, if he smelled uh, the other dog on the child, that may have been enough to, to scare him, to frighten him, or to, to think there was an intruder.